I gotta get the box. Hi friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be doing one that I've always wanted to do, and I got the idea from Alicia Marie, so go check out all of these videos that she does. But, okay, so this video is trying out Amazon products that you guys told me to get, if that makes sense. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, it's linked down below, but also somewhere on the screen. Definitely go follow me because I post all the time for you guys to give me YouTube video ideas. And I posted for you guys to swipe up and give me some Amazon favorites that you guys had. And I went and bought five of them. My family loves Amazon, so obviously this was a must. And half of these things we actually kind of needed. Before we get on with the video, make sure you subscribe because we are halfway to 200k, which is insane. So now that you've done that, hopefully, let's get on with the video. We are pulling the hair back for this. Okay. okay. The first thing I want to try out is this. Yeah. Let me explain what this is. It looks crazy, but some of you might know if you have pets. So if you guys didn't know, I just got a puppy tiger, and he's little, and he loves going in the car, but he does get really thirsty easily because he plays all the time. So I thought I could get this for the car and save, you know, so much mess. So it's a water bottle, and then I guess if you press right here or something, the water comes right here into this this and then he's able to drink out of it without getting it everywhere and then if you go back i think it might just go back down i don't know we have to figure it out but on amazon it is called i'm definitely not going to say this right but it's called the mall spree dog water bottle leak proof portable puppy water dispenser with drinking feeder for pets outdoor walking hiking travel and it holds 12 fluid ounces it's amazon's number one bestseller so let's hope it lives up to those standards this was $15, so let's see if it's worth it. Let's go get Tiger. Tiger, I have something. Do you know what this is? No, he's like, I'm so confused. We're gonna fill it up and then you can have water, yeah? Look you, I have, okay, we're in the kitchen now and we're gonna try this water dispenser. That's how he feels about it. Okay, quick little rinse. Okay, let me go fill this up. I don't think you have to fill it up this far, but if it works, I could just keep it in the fridge and then take it out when I need it. So I'm gonna put the top back on. Is that on right? Okay, so I have to press the button maybe? Oh, that means it's shut. Okay, when it's pushed this way, that means it's shut. When it's pushed this way, it's open, so I think then I can press down. No way, hold on, I have to show you what I'm looking at. Press the button. Water comes out. Oh, no way, hold on. The real test is, will Tiger drink out of it? Let's go see. I have Tiger, so let's go down to his level and see what he thinks. Do you want water? Do you like it, I'm drink some water? Do you like it? Do you like it? You wanna drink more? You're so good. He liked it. He liked it. That's like, what? I love this. This is amazing. Let's close it and put it in the fridge. This was a success, right? Okay, next product we are going to be trying is this, which you're probably very confused. Once again, don't know how to pronounce this, but Ronex, or it's R-O-N-X, I don't know. But, yeah, this is what it is. It's a candle lighter, it's a square electric charged lighter with LED battery, and it's rechargeable, and supposedly safer than normal lighters. This was also $15 and it has, has four and a half stars. So I'm guessing it's good. I love candles, but I can't, I can't with a lighter. They just don't, they just don't work for me. I have to use two hands and I still can't do it. So I saw this in Alicia's video and I was like, we need to try that. Oh, has a charger, has a charger. Okay, so they said it's, it, you have to charge it to use it. So this is the charger, we'll plug this in right now. And this is what it looks like. Let's, hello? Oh, hi. Oh my god, wait, what? Can you see that? What? Okay, we're gonna go plug this in and then go try it out. Okay, I'm in my room and this is the candle that I always light when I'm in my room. And we have this. I charged this for about 10 minutes and it had the lights on, so if I click the on button, the blue lights go on. 
Now I'm just really scared to see what it does. So I'm just gonna let you guys see. Okay, ready? It's purple. I'm too scared. Okay, here we go. It's not working. <gasps> it worked. No way. No way. Here we go. What? How does that how does that work? How does that work? I said out of 10 recommend. Okay, the next product we can try out right now, and this one is blue light glasses. So where are my blue light glasses? So these are currently my blue light glasses. They're just like kind of not like square, but they're also not circular. And I mean I really like them. I like the cheetah. I think they're cute. So these are my current ones, and I really, really like them. But I've always wanted circular ones, so I ordered circular ones. And this was like the number one thing you guys wanted me to try. So yeah, let's open it. I haven't seen these yet. Ooh, they come in a case. Mm, smells like weird though. Like smells like weird plastic. Okay. This is the case that it comes in. It's the brand and wood. Okay, let's open it. Okay, okay, okay. Thought I ordered two pairs. We're only one. There's only one in here. Okay, there's this one. There, it's like the same. Is it cheetah print? I don't even know, but it's the same print as that one. And they're circular and a little bit smaller because those are kind of big on me. So why do they seem so legit? Like they're just they're just blue light glasses, are they not? Okay, hold on. This is what they look like. They're the same as these, but they're circular. So they come with like the cleaner, a little case, and the blue light things. So let's see how they look. Wait, what? Why do I look like Wait, I can't put my finger on what I look like, but they're smaller. Okay, I'm not mad at these, what? Honestly, the real test was are they cute? Because I won't wear them if they're not cute. But I like them a lot. Let me know what you guys think, but I think these were a score and they were $11. So yeah, I think it was kind of awesome. They were. This next product I'm so excited for. So this looks crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna hold one of them up because it came in a pack of two, but this is what it is. You hold it just like this and it has silicone, yeah, silicone like little prickly things and you're supposed to like massage your head with it. So it came in purple and turquoise and these are $10 on the Amazon. So it says that this product is a head massager so it should just feel good, but it can also double as like getting um, dandruff out of your scalp. So... <laughs> I could really use a good massage, so let's go. Uh, it feels really good, obviously, but my only question is, why is it silicone? It should just be plastic. Like these should just be hard. They should be plastic, not like rubbery. Cause now that it's rubbery, it like sticks to my hair. Like it gets stuck. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about these. I was expecting better. Moving on. All right, last product is an avocado thing. I don't know. When I asked you guys on Snapchat to give me anything from Amazon, this was the number one thing. An avocado slicer. I don't even know. When I looked it up, this was Amazon's number one choice. So let's open it and then I'll show you like what they say it's supposed to do. This is what it looks like, really weird. So I don't know but it says this part of it is meant to split the avocado in half. This center part is meant to press down on the, the core of it. I don't even know what it's called, the pit maybe? It's meant to press down on the pit and then like turn it and then it pulls it out without like, s I know people like put your knife in it and then it's like this whole thing where like you almost cut yourself. And then this part of it is meant to like scrape the avocado out of the skin. Okay, this is so confusing, but I only got this because I haven't had avocado toast in a while. And the last time I had it, it was really good. And honestly, I want to try it again. I haven't had it in a long time, so I don't know if I still like it. But might as well get this to try it. my toast and we have avocados so this is my avocado 
I don't really know what else to do with it other than what it said to do. Does it smell weird? So you just, this is really easy now. Okay, so you just slice it. Okay, hold on. <gasps> it worked. So now with the pit, you're supposed to take this part of it and, and that's how you get it out. Did y'all see me flinch? Why did it work? And then the last part you're supposed to do is take this and just go like this and it gets all of it out. Um, what? Um, hold on. We're just gonna do it with a fork and see what happens. Wait, I did it. Okay, I just mashed it, like, with my fork. And then it became this, so I'm gonna spread that onto my toast. I think I did it right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I killed that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, share it with your friends, tell everybody about it, and make sure you're subscribed to me on Snapchat so you can let me know even more Amazon products you want to see me try. And go to my community page post for this video and let me know more things I should try and more video ideas. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!